Hi, in this video today I will discuss the mail merge add-on or extension that can be used with, with Mozilla Thunderbird. Mozilla Thunderbird is an email client which is similar to Microsoft Outlook. The difference being that Mozilla Thunderbird is free and is very similar in terms of functionality. Um, if you're not familiar with the mail merge, uh, an, an example of why you would use a mail merge, uh, if you want to send an email to a, a large number of recipients and you have the data that varies per individual in perhaps a separate list, then you can use a mail merge to, to send, in this case, a number of different emails without having to, to create a, a new message for each person. There are some assumptions uh, being made for this video that you have Thunderbird already installed with the account set up on your machine and you uh, are experiencing building a spreadsheet or, or you have a spreadsheet built already. Later in this video I'll, I'll show you how I've created a spreadsheet for, for this example. Now you may have mentioned in the, the heading for this video the term CSV. Uh, CSV stands for comma separated values. Uh, a CSV uh, document or file contains uh, well values separated by commas. Um, so if you take a spreadsheet for example, each row of a spreadsheet would be on a line and each field is separated by a comma. As the video goes on you'll get to see how this looks. Um, the process is not the same as it's done on Microsoft Outlook or Microsoft Office. So the spreadsheet we're going to do today will be built separately from the uh, the mail merge itself, um, which is similar, I guess, to Microsoft Office. But the the, the merge itself will be the the message will be composed in Mozilla Thunderbird, and the um, you'll then send the message directly from there. For example, in Microsoft Office, you would write the message in Word and, and send email messages that way. Uh, so the process is slightly different. Uh, however, if you are looking to do this in Microsoft Outlook um, or with Microsoft Office, I have covered how to do this process in a, a separate video. And the final point, which uh, is quite positive, is that this won't cost you or your company or business any money at all. You can use, well, Thunderbird is free. The mail merge add-on that we're going to use is free. And additionally, if you want to create the spreadsheet and you don't have Microsoft Office, then you could use OpenOffice, which is, a, a, again, a free alternative that you can use to create spreadsheets and a CSV file. So the three points we're going to cover uh, next in this video. The first one is installing the mail merge add-on or extension to Thunderbird. When that's done, uh, I will then create a data set. So I'll create a spreadsheet that we can use for the email message. And I'll save that down as a CSV file. And then with those two done, we can prepare a message and we can send it using a, a mixture of the data set and the add-on that we've installed. So let's proceed and install the add-on. Launch the Mozilla Thunderbird application. From the Thunderbird menu, select Add-ons. If you scroll down on the add-ons screen, the mail merge add-on should show under featured add-ons. If it doesn't, go up to the top right hand corner, search all add-ons and type in simply mail merge and press return. The mail merge application will probably show at the top. If you want to confirm you have the right one, press more and confirm it's a mail merge application by Alexander Bergman. Select the install option. The add-on will download. You will then receive this message to confirm that the mail merge application or add-on has been installed, but you must restart to activate it. So if I press restart now, the application will close and launch again. and the, the add-on has now been installed. 
OK, now the add-on has been installed, we will create a, a data set to use. OK, now we will prepare some data to use for the mail merge. I'm going to use Microsoft Excel. You can use OpenOffice or, or anything else. So I'm just very quickly going to, to type up some, some data here that we can use for the sample mail merge. What we have to do first of all is enter some column headings along the top and these must match exactly the fields or variables that we're going to use in the mail merge. So I'm going to put in first name, last name, email and for my mail merge I'm going to put in car reg for car registration and car type. I'm just going to make these columns a little bit bigger to make it easier to manage. And I will just uh, key some data in very quickly. Now that I have created the sample data, this must be saved. Now, if you do this with Excel or OpenOffice, the procedure is the same. You must save the file as a CSV. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop just now and I'm going to change the file type to CSV. And I'll just call it data for merge. Save just agree to the, the prompts. Now, you don't have to do this, but to demonstrate why we do that, if I open the file I just created with Notepad, you can see that each of the fields is separated by a comma. Now, a CSV file by default will separate the values by commas, that's comma separated values, and the first um, the first uh, line of the file tends to be the, the file headings. So I'm just going to, um, I just removed a blank line from the bottom. So when you create the CSV, you don't have to do anything with it, but save it to your desktop or a, a location of your choice and just be aware of where that is. Also be aware of the, the field names that you have defined here. So I've created first name with a capital F and N, last name capital L and N, email, car reg and car type in the same format. Now that we have the add-on installed and the data set, we will look at creating a message and we'll run the mail merge. As we have installed the mail merge add-on to Thunderbird and created some source data, we can now um, prepare an email message and run the mail merge. Within Thunderbird, as you would do normally, press the right or press Ctrl and N to compose a new email message. In the to field, using curly brackets, type in the column heading from your CSV that contained the email address. For me, this was email with a capital E. Within subject, you can also use a variable for a merge field. So I'm going to type service due for, um, and I'll put in the car reg here. Now we can compose the email message. So I'm going to say dear, first name, the service is now due for your, and this is where I put in the car type, registration, Please call on one, two, three, four, five, six to arrange an appointment.
Okay. Um, so, what you don't do is press the send button. What we now do is go to the file menu and select the mail merge option from the file menu. Um, so the source is going to be a CSV. As default, this will be a dress book. Ours is going to be CSV. The deliver mode we can define if we want to save the messages as draft, send them later, or send them now. I'm just going to do um, save as draft just now. Uh, the format, HTML, which I, I would recommend sticking with. Um, you can add attachments at this point if you like, um, which is one of the restrictions that we have with the Microsoft Outlook equivalent. Um, so at this point, we're going to select the CSV file we created. So mine's was data for merge. Uh, the character set we can leave as a default to UTF-8. The field delimiter is a comma, which is the default for a CSV file. And the text delimiter um, is, is often used if we used commas within a merge field, which we haven't done. Um, so. So the text delimiter will leave at the quotation marks. So with these options set, press OK. This will now create the draft messages, or it will send the email messages if that is the, the option you, you selected. If I now go to my drafts folder, you can now see the email messages ready to send that have been created. If I had selected the send now option, those messages would have went, but the I, I picked the option here. So if I pick a message, you can now see the merge fields are used exactly as I defined. Additionally, Thunderbird gives you the option to edit the message before it's sent. And this doesn't include the merge field variables, so you could edit this directly. And you could send it in, or you could save. And I'll put it back into the drafts with the change that you made. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you do have any questions, please comment or contact me directly and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching.